Hi, I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm excited to be joined today by Richard Irving from the Xbox engineering team to discuss some of the most anticipated features in the upcoming March update. Richard, thanks for joining me. Hey, thank you. It's great to be here. Richard, your team is responsible for many of the changes coming in March, specifically the friends list and party experience. Let's start with parties and get right into the details. What's the first most obvious change fans will see when starting up a party? I think we've addressed the uh, number one most requested feature, which is turning party chat on by default. That is awesome news. What about cross-game chat and parties, Richard? That has always been there, but how have you made it easier? The UI makes a clearer distinction between the people that you're playing with and the people that you're chatting with. Mm -hmm. And you now have three distinct options for bringing people into your party. You can invite them just to the party if you want to chat. You can invite them just to your game or you can invite them to the party and to the game simultaneously. And I see here you can invite party to game as well, which is awesome. That's right. Now, if you send me a party and a game invite and I accept it, what's going to happen? You're going to immediately join the chat. Again, chat is on by default, so you're going to start chatting with your friends. And then whether or not you're in the game, uh, it's going to take you right into the multiplayer setup for that game. Now, is there anything else you want to make sure that fans know about the updates to the Xbox One Party system? Well, there's a lot of refinement to the UI to improve your access uh, to different features of the system. Uh, and we are actively awaiting more feedback to continue to improve the experience. The friends list is another area that's receiving a lot of attention in the March update, Richard. What new functionality can fans expect to see there? So the most important thing is uh, it's faster to access your online friends. Our data and research showed that the majority of people were going just to check the online status of their friends. Mm -hmm. And so now it's three button clicks or one voice command away to see that. So you get to it really quickly. That's right. All right. I see that favorites are right at the top as well. That's right. So favorites, uh, you know, in this world where you can now have a thousand friends on Xbox One, you need a way to prioritize the people that you care the most about. And favorites are a way of doing that. When you mark someone as a favorite friend, uh, they're going to sort to the top of the list. So you always see them first. Great. Now, I've also see, see here that you've added some new shortcuts to the friends list. Tell me about that. That's right. So we've added a context menu that makes it faster to send a message, invite your friend to a party, things like that. Now here I see find someone is now on the top level page. Tell me about that. So that's a feature that we uh, we introduced at launch that makes it easy to find new people by gamer tag. Mm -hmm. uh, again, in this world where you have a thousand friends, sometimes it's faster to search for them rather than scroll through a list. So now with uh, find someone at the top level, uh, you can start typing a friend's gamer tag and within I'd say two to three characters, you'll get a little autocomplete list of suggestions pick the friend that you want to access and be taken straight to their profile. And you're on your way. Now here I see the much requested recent players list. Uh, what does that mean to some players that are new to Xbox One? What can we do there? So recent players is where you go to access people that you have played a game with recently so that you can add them to your friends list or if you need to report them for griefing or other bad behavior. Richard, are there any other changes to friends that you want to touch on? Well, we've added more options on the profile page, so there's more actions, invite to game, join party, things like that. What's your hope for the March update? Well, really my hope is that uh, people pick up Titanfall and have a great time playing with it, and I hope the changes that we've made to the multiplayer experience in support of that gives them an even better experience on Xbox One. Richard, thanks for showing us some of the features coming in the March update to Xbox One. For more news, keep an eye on Xbox Wire or MajorNelson.com. Thanks for watching. Take fixed all ground forces. The situation is under our control. Well done. Be advised. Most forces are 